Welcome back to another video. Uh, it's now early spring, so we're in see mid March now, and I'm starting to see new leaves and buds forming on my hedgerows that I planted, and on the trees around me. And what that means is, as the temperatures are rising, uh, as we come in into April now, the sap is starting to flow up the trunks of all of the trees to give energy to produce these buds and with birch trees which I have one right here behind me with birch trees we can drill a hole into the trunk of the tree and we can extract some of that sap as it's flowing up and it's edible or drinkable so very tasty lovely sweet water you can condense it down to a syrup, similar how you make this similar process to making maple syrup. Um, but the the ratios are, it's for me it's not really worth it to make birch syrup. I I just enjoy drinking the water as it is, um, and it's one thing I look forward to every year, every spring, is getting my first sip of birch water. And what you're looking for is around this time of year. When you start to see those green buds forming on trees, you, that's giving you a clue that it's time, it's birch tapping time. And you want to find a tree like this one, that's at least, let's say six to eight inches in diameter. You don't want to go too young. You want to make sure it's a nice, big, established, that they can take the, the little bit of damage that you're going to be doing to it. Uh, so what I have here is, I'll show you. I have one of these augers and all I have to do is stick stick in there and I can start drilling the hole. So I'm going to get started. These older birch trees will have this kind of, they start to develop kind of an armour, like the, the, the bark gets thicker down towards the base. Um, now, so you want to go a little bit above that, I'd say as I'm looking at it, I'll probably want to go yeah that looks like a good spot so I'm gonna go in here and now and as I'm drilling uh, as I'm drilling here let me show you See if I can get the camera to focus on my finger there. It's kind of hard to get it focused. Hang on. There you go. You can already see it's wet. The pulp is wet. You can see the shine glistening in the sun. So that's showing that there's juice dripping out of the tree there. And I have this little wooden straw or tap that I made. I just got a stick. A dry stick, I drilled a hole through it and carved it into the right shape and size that I need to insert it into the hole here. And you can see the birch water coming out of the tap. And all that's left to do now is for me to get a bottle, secure it to the tree, and I'll leave it for a couple of hours to play. Give me one second and I'll get... Now I've got my 
bottle secured to the tree. And you can see there the sap is moving. And I uh, just used an old milk bottle and the dog lead. <laughs> But uh, yeah, use whatever you can. You can use a plastic bottle as well. You can use whatever. You can even duct tape it to the tree if you need to. Do whatever you have to. Now I'm going to leave that for a while and come back to it. I'll show you how much water we collected. But uh, there's other methods you can use to extract the the sap. Um, one thing that you can do is, like that tree was too tall for me to do this one, but a really quick and easy method that you don't need the auger for is, if you have a low branch, you can bend that branch down and just cut the tip of that branch off and the sap will still be moving to that tip. Um, and then so, you can get a plastic bottle, put the end of that um, branch in. Maybe I should, maybe I should be demonstrating this to you. But um, put the stick into the bottle, bend the bottle down and tie it to the tree. That's a very quick and easy method to do it. It's less damaging to the tree as well. Uh, some people don't like tapping birch trees with... Um, they don't like tapping birch trees in the trunk like that. They think it's too damaging. I think it's okay. Like obviously, I, personally, I'd prefer to do the stick thing, but again, that tree is too tall. Um, but you can always just fill the fill the hole that you make with beeswax, which I'm gonna do, and that'll seal it up and that'll stop any pests going in there any diseases getting into the trunk and damaging the tree because I'd like that tree to stick around yeah the tree's been here a lot longer than I have and I hope that it'll be here long after I'm gone as well uh, yeah so I'll leave it there for the moment and next time next time you see me we'll have a bottle of birch water there's some bugs swimming in my birch water I should have put a I said it to myself before I started filming. I should have put something on the uh, a net over the bottle, but I was I was impatient and I didn't want to bother. So uh, I'm gonna have to start again. <laughs> right. So I put some insect nets on the bottle, and I made just pointed it into. Well, to make a funnel, just make sure that it doesn't run down the sides. Right, let's try this again. Now, since we're gonna have to be waiting a little bit longer for my birch water, I thought I might show you the branch twig method that I told you about earlier. But um, I don't have a suitable birch tree nearby, so I'm just gonna use there's this bit of hazel right next to. I don't even know what type of tree that is. But there's this bit of hazel right next to this tree, so I'm just, let's pretend this is the birch tree, right? So, what you wanna do is find out where you wanna cut the, the branch. And with your sectors, you snip it there. It's nice to get a good angle to cut, because the sap will come off the point. Let me break that off as well. And then what you do is get your bottle and you get your bottle and you can bend it down all right and tie the bottle off like that and that's another way to get the sap which is a lot easier a lot quicker and does less damage to the tree because the twigs the branches of the tree, they're kind of designed to fall off, um, whereas the trunk is, it's a vital, it's 
it's a vital organ of the tree like that's where all of the life comes from so it's a uh, not as well to be damaging the trunk so this is another way to do it um obviously this is <laughs> a quick non non tutorial you're better off looking for other videos on this method but they're out there people will be able to explain it a lot better than i can i just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what that would look like Now I've got my birch water there. I'm just going to set that down for a second. Now it's time to take out my tap. So now it's time to put our, get our beeswax and seal seal that gap. Yeah. There we go. All right, now it's time to take my first sip of spring water this year. Yeah. Yeah, it's very um it's just like a very mildly sweet water. It's very, very refreshing. And, um, it's just a spring taste to it. And something I look forward to every winter. I'm just anticipating getting my first sip of birch water every spring. Um, it's an exciting time of the year. Lots of foraging opportunities. Um, and this is just one of them. And one of the the season for harvesting this is pretty short so it's a uh, just one of those things that it just makes it that more that bit more precious that it's limited so I might collect some more of this and store it for later in the year I don't really know how to describe the sweetness of it but give it a go it's not that hard um definitely worth doing all right well i hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something um yeah definitely give birch tap on a go this year if you get the time and i'm gonna do a bit more foraging this spring uh, i didn't get much foraging done last year um, but it's something i'm very passionate about and I'm going to walk the dog through the forest now and I'll see you in the next video.